So there's really only a few steps to getting a software engineering internship. Get interviews, pass interviews, and that's about it. If you've never had experience in the tech industry, it's definitely not gonna be easy, but it doesn't need to be as complicated as most people assume it is. Now, I'm not saying that I'm special, I'm not smarter than anyone else, I'm not better at computer science than anyone else, but you don't need to be. I've understood what's worked for me and for other people, and it's worked pretty well for me. And I just wanted to share with you guys the biggest reason I've seen why so many college students consistently struggle to get internships. And it's based on the idea that you don't need to do more, it's not about working hard, Harder. It's about doing the right things well enough consistently um, and you know this um, but what are most college students doing? So the first priority for most college students is usually going to be school. The next priority is going to be your extracurriculars then recruiting and the last priority for most college students is self-development. Uh, by this I just mean being wholesome and improving yourself as a person. And this seems pretty reasonable, right? This seems like a pretty typical college student's list of priorities. Well, not only does this kind of miss the mark, this is literally the exact opposite of what's actually gonna help you get an internship. This is the exact inverse of what it should be. And I'm gonna explain why for each one. So the most common explanation I've heard for why you weren't able to get an internship is, oh, I needed to focus on my classes this semester, or oh, my schoolwork is too hard, or I don't know enough because I haven't taken enough classes. Well, at the end of the day, what are your classes for? Why are you going to school? For most people, the tangible goal, at least for people watching this video, is probably to secure a full-time job opportunity at your dream company. I'm not saying that school isn't important. It is important and your classes and your grades do help but a lot of things help. A lot of things are way more important, such as literally working at your dream company or at a similar company in a relevant role. And an internship is usually gonna be your only opportunity to do that before you graduate. And you definitely wanna graduate with an offer lined up or else you're kinda of just wasting it. So if we agree that getting an internship is gonna help you get a full-time job, why does it sound like a good strategy to just throw yourself at whatever's on the course catalog for three to six months at a time and risk demotivating yourself with classes and then just assume that a company is gonna appreciate that and owe you an internship? If that makes sense to you, then by all means keep doing that, but it makes sense to me that at a certain point, you should start spending your time and your focus and your motivation elsewhere because those are limited resources and you want to use them properly. So where's that point? Uh, look online for a reputable CS program and look for the data structures and algorithms course. At Berkeley, this is going to be CS61B. At Harvard, it's CS50. At MIT, I think it's like 6006. Um, look through the final exam study guides, uh, look through the syllabus and look through some exams, or even just look at Cracking the Coding Interview by Gail Lockman McDowell. If you can explain in depth a good amount of the concepts on there, or if you've worked on solid projects in your classes from start to finish, you're probably fine. Start allocating your time and effort elsewhere. So now extracurriculars are super important because you can surround yourself with people that motivate you and want the best for you in your career. And as a side effect, one, you'll be able to use your network to work on large projects that are impressive to companies. Uh, and second, you're gonna be able to leverage your friends for referrals down the line. And referrals are single-handedly the most effective way to get an internship at a tech company. Unfortunately, so many college students have the wrong approach to this. Uh, if you're just throwing like 20 hours a week at a club, um, just working on club responsibilities because it says professional development in the description and you're kind of just there to boost your own resume and network well the experience is gonna suck for you it's gonna suck for everyone else and it literally doesn't work if instead you try to genuinely add value to the mission of the club and to other people and you try to genuinely make friends in the long term then people are gonna want to help you out with your career because you're gonna do the same for them Another problem is that a lot of times, especially at top universities, the acceptance rate into clubs is going to be a lot lower than the acceptance rate into the college. And this is really demotivating for a lot of students, but you don't need a school affiliated organization to work on things that you like. Sometimes it's even better to just find people in your dorm or find people in your classes that want to work on the same things and then just go for it. Again, the purpose is to build this genuine network of people with similar career aspirations so that you can work on projects together and leverage each other for referrals as a team. 
So now recruiting is the part where we actually go and get the internship. But you'd be surprised how many times I'll hear someone ask, oh, how do I get an internship? Why don't I have an internship yet? And then the next question I'll ask is, well, have you tried applying? And you'd be surprised how many times people will say no, or I applied to like one or two places a month ago and I'm waiting to hear back. You need to consistently keep applying like right now. I promise it's not too early, it's not too late. You need to just put yourself out there and start just getting rejected a million times. Uh, this is for three reasons. One, you need to start building the habit um, because going into recruiting mode feels like a lot of effort and a lot of discipline at first, but that's only until you lock it in as a habit. And if you just wait until there's more pressure to have a job lined up and you're just banking on your discipline and your willpower being there, you're setting yourself up to fail and it's kind of your fault. But if you have it locked in as a habit, you're going to be good to go and you can just worry about executing properly. Second, you're only going to get like one response per 10 to 20 applications and that's kind of just how it is and it sucks. But you need to just get used to it and build an emotional indifference to rejection and realize that each application is kind of prob probabilistic and just constantly increase your exposure to companies to improve your chances of getting hired. And the third most important reason is that you need to figure out what employers want. So many students are wasting so much effort, time, and motivation just making assumptions about what's gonna get them hired or help them in their careers when you can literally just look at the job description or go ask your employers. It's like you're a commercial business. You are the product or service and your potential employers are the customers or clients. Like your extracurriculars, your projects, and your classes are just what you gotta do to buy the materials and build the actual product. But most of the real work goes into figuring out what people want, what's already selling out there, and how what you have can specifically add value. There's really no point in using any time or effort without doing your market research first. So when you start applying, most people just um, default to applying a few times online and then they show up to career fairs. But you're not gonna be most people. You gotta consistently apply to a few places every single day just to lock in the habit and then go to career fairs with a plan um, to learn about what employers want methodically and then learn how to effectively sell to them. And then don't just stop there. The more proactive and aggressive you can be, the better because it makes your employer's jobs easier. Uh, send cold emails to people, interact with content creators on blogs and YouTube channels, message people on LinkedIn, ask not only your friends, but also people that your friends know. You know, whatever you gotta do to get the ball rolling and get yourself out there. I hear so many people saying, oh, this other person got hired or these other people are killing it in their careers, but they're just successful people. They're smarter than me. They just pick things up quicker. I'm not that kind of person. It's basically a fact that only like 10% of getting an internship or really succeeding in anything is the actual mechanics and knowledge. And like 90% comes down to who you are as a person and your mindset. If you are the type of person that gets hired, if you are just a successful person, it's gonna work out for you. Fortunately, this is like the one thing that you have complete control over. And this is really important to think about because none of the knowledge, the opportunities, or the skills that you get from working on anything else is gonna stand a chance against imposter syndrome. If you can't convince yourself that you are the most qualified person for a role, how are you going to convince employers? And nothing else is gonna matter if you don't have a plan and a method for managing burnout realistically or managing your anxiety and your own emotions, which are almost always going to get in your way. And these kind of things aren't going to happen on accident. You're not going to get better at managing your own emotions or developing a successful, helpful mindset just by throwing yourself at your classes, your extracurriculars, and everything else that you do. You need to focus on this thing first. So where do we start? Well, the first step is really just decide on a purpose. Convince yourself of why you really want an internship. Why do you want to work in the tech industry? There's no way that you can prove to yourself that you're gonna stay motivated and do what it takes to kill it in your career if you can't convince yourself of a purpose. Once you can convince yourself of your purpose, whatever it may be, and then set
set your priorities such that you know that it's achievable and just let go of anything else that could possibly get in the way and then have strategies for managing your productivity and protecting it at all costs. You can then put yourself out there, start applying to things and learn what employers want and do your market research. You can then build your network of people that want the same career goals as you and then leverage your network to get referrals and work on projects such that you'll be able to convince recruiters of their value and then you're going to use your academics to fill in all the gaps and build yourself into a well-rounded engineer and then you smash the subscribe button and then you go sign your internship offer hopefully this was helpful to you in some way please feel free to share this with someone else that's struggling to get an internship um, if you have any questions about this process or you want me to go into anything in more detail please feel free to message me on instagram see you here next time thanks guys